And how is it going everyone? Welcome to Sonic Riders, one of my favorite Sonic games and also pretty much the first racing Sonic game that came out for uh, this generation of con well, of consoles, yeah, I, I, that generation. Because before this, um, there basically was, as far as I know, it was only Sonic Drift and Sonic R as racing games sonic drift was okay especially because it was on hangel it was it, it, it was a game gear game it was okay for what it was and then sonic r was a uh, very mediocre to say the least right so i'm pretty sure that sonic riders is the first racing game bef uh, after those so you know it's actually a quite a step up from those so uh yeah obviously i have this thing pause here so you can see the intro the intro on this one i also like it a lot especially because how unique uh, the animation is so let's bring it on i'm actually surprised that they went for a fully animated intro like this one instead of using a CG renders or you know it, it, it is as far as I know a frame by frame animation the song is also cool well I guess those buildings are CG, <laughs> probably, most likely. Or at least the characters themselves, I I'm pretty sure the animations are made frame by frame. I also like how Tails gets foggy in the intro just because poor tails but yeah basically beautiful Lisa <laughs> licensed by Nintendo, you can't forget that. Just so Sega doesn't get uppity again, we have that watermark there, so they don't think they are in charge. Uh, but yeah, well, I mean, after all, just like Sonic Heroes, this was released in a in a Nintendo and a Sonic console, you know, because Sega was already pretty much giving up on that. Uh, yes, I want to create save data. Okay, so um, there are a couple of things to take into account. Uh, checking the um, the emulation wiki for this game, there are a couple of things that might not work correctly, but I think that they might have been fixed. Hopefully, I don't know. Also, Barfiers, how is it going? Um, what's about to say? Yes, uh, like apparently according to the wiki, some cutscene seems to be broken, which is something that I'm pretty sure it's fits because I haven't seen and I also seen other reports saying that they are fits. And the other thing is that I don't know how well I, well, my PC can handle this game. It should be able to handle it, but we will see. Um, I guess we're gonna start with story mode. Uh, well, this game basically introduces two, um, well, three new characters, and basically it's just like Sonic Adventure 2, it allows you to take place from two different perspectives. The Heroes one, which is obviously Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and then the other one with the three new characters, uh, which is obviously not unlocked since the beginning. Uh, also, hey Brabby, how is it going? Let's get the show going. <laughs> Conejo? That's a word in Spanish for rabbit. Hmm. 
That's really weird. It looks like something's jamming the radar signal. Huh? Here they come. What's that? You're gonna get arrested again, Sonic. Don't do it like that. Team, just like that. You could have killed the guy. Hey, that's not yours, Sonic. What are you doing? Fucking stealing like that? Hey, Yannick, how is it going? Yeah, they do look amazing, the CCs. These shoes do look fantastic. What the? Keep in mind that this is upscale, though. <laughs> so, you're supposed to be the fastest thing alive? Damn. Talking shit like that? Oh, new competition. I think that Sonic voice is changed for this game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone. I hope you're all ready for a show. We've got an exciting event just for you. <laughs> Since you all seem so bored, I've put together a little extra something to spice things up. I call it the X World Grand Prix. A tournament to see who's the best of the best with extreme gear. Not just a race, but a special race to see who's the fastest. And these races are no holds barred. All contestants pay a simple entry fee of one chaos and oh, that's and the pretty cheap. Takes it all. <laughs> so let's see who among you dares to meet this challenge. Eggman again! Just what is he up to this time? And there's more! Before I forget, I'll present the current contestants. These players, they're hot. The best racers I can find. Oh, well, there you have the newcomers. Shed hey, Storm that's... and the girl that that's I don't remember the name Prix, of. Huh? Let's do this! And we need to finish top three. That should be easy. Why do the cops just let Edman do this? Maybe he pays them in eggs. A little fee. They are hot. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm fighting against robots. Oh, I almost fucked that one up. Alright. So... I actually remember a lot from this game, believe it or not. I mean, I did play it a little bit the other day just to see if it works, and it did work at least on this first map. But I remember a lot. Like, I played this game so much back then that it's like it never left my memory. Just one of those that the muscle memory has been staying strong for a long time. You know? So that's great. Wave, but there's no particle. Every wave has particles, you could say. Nice. Yeah, this game, uh, I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. I like. I I don't think I remember how many hours I put into this game back when I was younger. I loved this game as a kid. It was one of those games that 
that I remember 100%ing it. Like, I remember just playing it so much. And I kinda wanna 100% it again. But I don't know, anything can happen. Oh, I fucked that up. That's fine though. The, the robot didn't do much better anyways. I also like how they put uh, names for the tricks. Ooh, I fucked that up. Enough to have a robot unlock. Yeah, the robots I'm pretty sure that are luck at the beginning. Like, they, they, they are not characters that are unlocked. I'm pretty sure that the characters that are unlocked at the beginning are Sonic, uh, Tails, Knuckles... Well, I, the, the first... Wow, I really fucked that one up. Like, the first uh, six characters, and I don't know if there is another one that is unlocked at the beginning, actually. Anyways... Wanted top 3 Eggman, there is your top 3. Just wanted your top 3, I'm giving it to you. Damn, 14 seconds, but he wasn't that far away from me. <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, sure, I'll take it. Why not? Nice. The yeah, robots in story mode can use any shortcut type. Yeah. But what exactly is Eggman really? Wasn't enough. Ah, oh, it can't be anything too important. Hey, Sonic! Damn, she's huh? actually wearing pants Amy? this time. That's on you. Don't tell me you've signed up too. Of course, it really looks exciting and fun. Why wouldn't I join? And besides, this way I'll be able to keep my eyes on you. Ugh. Wink. Tails? Hmm. That Mark. Mark? Uh-huh. I think it was on the boards of those guys we ran into in Future City. It could be just a brand, you know. Yes, the mark of the Babylon Rogues. A long time ago there was a floating island known as Babylon Garden. Supposedly robbers lived there. According to rumors, this legendary band, the Babylon Rogues, were great thieves. Legend also says that the Babylon Rogues incurred the wrath of the gods because of their crimes and that the island was cast into the depths of the earth. After that, supposedly the Babylonians were then scattered for all time, never to be found. But they say that the Babylon Rogue's treasure still remains on that island, waiting to be discovered. There are also rumors that the Babylon Rogues were extreme gear specialists. Still, how can a plank like that just float? That's easy to explain. According to the Kutta-Jukowski lift theorem, the control surface flow is balanced by the inverse kinetics of the... Stop! Hey, I come on. It, okay? He didn't even just say two sentences. <laughs> huh? How Sorry, was this girl called? I completely huh? forgot that her name. Unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. <laughs> well, I never imagined anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. <laughs> Thanks, though. It was good for a laugh. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, let's sure. just ignore that bomb that she should oh, put that there. Girl, who does she think she is? Yeah, how can she just walk in and diss tails? I know, and tinkering's all he's really good at. Too. I'll be more worried about that fucking bomb, you blind pieces of shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Please come to the gate, participants. Well, I know it's a bomb, but I mean... Does the AI rubber ban? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how the AI behaves. Yeah. The they should straight up to the Tower of Babylon. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, Wave is how she's called. Oh, I, I got. Oh, oh, I'm Tails. Okay, that means that I'm gonna have the the fly power, 
problem is that... Well, I can go there. Oh, I can go there. Okay. Good, good to know. Tails be like hyper dance game? Of course. He's not amused. I mean, you can't just tell an engineer that their things are shit. That's not very polite. Alright, so did I need to jump? I'm pretty sure it's automatic. Yeah, no, it's automatic. There you go. Nice. Gotcha. Oh, wow, wait. Uh, that's the wrong button. Why did I press jump? Holy fuck, he's not fooling around. It's like saying your code is shit. I don't know. I mean, if someone told me my code is shit, I wouldn't mind because they would be probably right. <laughs> you know? I guess it depends. You know, it really depends on your level. If you are very confident that what you do is good, when someone dismisses it, obviously, you want to assassinate that person that dismisses you. you know, in my case, if someone called my code shit, I will be like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you are most likely right. They are somewhere you need to jump like the one on the start. Yeah, the, the waterfall shortcut seems completely worthless. Okay, so you say that I need to jump on that one. The problem is that I barely get an angle for that. That's a very annoying thing. It's okay though. No, that's not. Drift? Yeah, I, I know. It's just that it's drifting and then... It's a very weird angle, that's for sure. Ah, uh, fuck, I... It's okay, the second place is so far behind that it really doesn't matter. Okay, it's not that far behind now. Alright, but it's okay, I still win, get fucked. Got him. Also, let me know if the sound is fine, by the way. I think the sound should be fine, but just let me know. If you notice anything that might be too quiet or too loud, it is fine. Nice, thanks. But yeah. Oh shit, here I come. Rougher than the rest of them. Damn. It's payback time. Oh, it's you! I'll make sure to pay you back for this! I let you get away last time, but definitely not today! Why wait till later, you little punk? I'll pay you back tenfold now! Huh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing, you clumsy fool? Was that supposed to be some kind of punch? Nice try, buddy! Damn. That robot is getting Sorry, fucked. It wasn't my fault. If he hadn't jumped out of the way just now, I would have clobbered. <laughs> what? The race is about to start. All participants, please get your positions now. Uh, the track, then. We'll settle this there. Looking forward to it. You remember getting stuck in Knuckle Stage? Oh, I need to finish first place. Interesting. Hey Franco, how is it going? Knuckles wins. Uh, well, that's a <laughs> we're about to find out about that. Wow, and Storm actually started perfectly at the beginning. Damn, that jump was super hard. It's okay. So you say, well, if we start like that, yeah, it, it might be hard <laughs> to win. No, it's okay. We got this. Wait, I already overtook Storm. Oh, he's right behind me. Wait. Oh, I think power was... Oh, it was on the left side. Oh, I'm running out of power. In 
managed to find a charge or well that that works too. Let's go for a dance. I mean I can't believe that attacking with Knuckles is just screaming at, at this guy's face. The good thing is that all these robots, n not the op- oh, Fuck that. That drift is a problem. That drift is a problem. Oh damn, that guy just punched me. See, why can't I do that? There, get scream, bitch. Yeah, this guy is gonna be rough. I'm also my rings. Fuck. It's okay, we, we can recharge here. That's what matters. I could also pick those rings. Every stage has an item that has a hundred rings in it, which pretty much allows you to match your shit immediately. Else didn't know how to get the sham the sham shortcut. See, at the beginning I also didn't know. But you, you basically need to hold uh, down. Yeah, it's something that is not very obvious. It took me a little bit to realize. So, you know. And Storm is shoving like crazy. Holy fuck, look at how far he is. If you look at the map, he's so far behind. It's just crazy. He's shoving... To a point where Vegeta will be proud. Alright. So yeah, that's how you get the, the ring thingy. It's also a shortcut, not like it matters too much anyways. But I mean, it leaves you there. There is a hidden power shortcut not far away from the end. Oh, yeah, I, I know I need to level up. Damn, Storm didn't even get second place. What an idiot. All that talk and he couldn't even get there. Shameless. Or I guess shameful more than shameless. Um, down to the higher forward. No, down to go higher forward. Oh, down to go higher forward to go further. Oh, I see, I see. That's what you mean. Yeah. I, I never use forward, I think. I, like, I only use down or neutral. The semi-final race will begin in 10 minutes. Please convene at the gate prior to that time. Ha! And this guy That's doing cool. tricks. Sonic! When did you learn those techniques? <laughs> Not very impressive for someone of your reputation. No, I've checked you out, actually. Not bad. I admit you're pretty fast on your feet. But here, it's a whole different story when riding with extreme gear. You see, to be the fastest on the gear, you have to become one with the wind. Without wings, well, you might as well kiss the ground and go home. How will you <laughs> kiss my ass instead? Seems like a better idea. Who does he think he is? Hmm. Well, I don't think he's all talk, you know. I better be on my toes during this competition. I never I imagined never anyone, anyone would enter, enter the race enter the with such a piece such of piece junk. junk. Damn, poor Tails. Sorry, Sonic. I just need to fine-tune a few things. Then your extreme gear will be at 100%. Hey, Tails. You always do your best, so don't worry. Yeah, but she has a point. She's a really brilliant mecha mechanic. Sonic, don't worry. I'll unlock the secret of the extreme gears for us. All right. Um. Damn, I thought it was gonna raise shit. Um. If I didn't know all that shortcut, I just wouldn't be able to go a certain mission. Oh, because some Tails, actually. I thought I was gonna play a Sonic. 
Head being racist to no to not birds. Head is being an absolute bigot. The only thing that he needs to say is that hedgehogs look all alike and that's it. He's gonna be absolutely banned from this competition. Oh yeah, I remember this song. It was like a tribal uh, song. Makes sense considering... Ah, oh, fuck me. Considering we're supposed to be in the middle of the jungle. Oh, this takes you to the... Yeah, to the cobwebs. Wait, is Wave shoving? I think Wave is shoving. Wait, she's in last place. What the fuck? Are you seeing that? Like, she's all the way in last place. Like, holy fuck. Uh oh. That's okay, I'm gonna recover here. Like, that has to be the worst shoving I've seen yet. Also, I want to see what happens if I don't spin at all. It doesn't seem to be that different, really. I think that spinning, the only thing that changes is that it makes you reload that shit. If you spin very fast, I think it does make you go faster, but you need to do it very fast for that to happen. There is no gap between Sonic guys. <laughs> it doesn't need it. Enable easy modo? What you mean enable easy modo? What do you mean by that? What is the easy modo? Oh, because of the shoving? Well, don't blame me for this guy's being absolute shovers. It ain't my fault. Hey, come on. Uh, there, there's nothing I can do here. If everyone is a shover, then, you know the way it is. Also, I want to get this one at least once. There you go. Nice. Oh, and the one time I get it. Well, fuck you. Oh, it seems that Wave is actually recovering. Like, she's actually in second place. Not like it matters too much anyway. Yeah. That's how you fuck them up. <laughs> but then, they are all shoving very badly. Like, goddamn. Uh, they actually are shoes doing their best um, their best uh, shoving impressions. Yeah. Sonic is not looking at you, Amy. She, he's looking at Shed. Sorry to disappoint you. Why don't you just turn into Super Sonic well, right there? You're lucky you got this far. It obviously wasn't due to your skills. <laughs> I won't lose now. <laughs> Get ready. It's time for the final race to begin. Vertical controls are reverse. Can you change that? Because vertical controls are garbage. I would prefer if that wasn't the case. Oh damn, we are actually participating like actual characters and not robots. Go slower on the sand there. 
Oops. That's not where you're supposed to go, Sonic. That's gonna be a problem. But it's okay. Ah, uh, fuck. That's okay. At least I didn't fall. Yeah, this might not be very good for me. Oh, the, po the power shortcut is so useful there. Charge my shit up. Oh yeah, this is the arrow. Oh, and you need to... Like, if you want to get to the... To the top of the stadium there you actually need to to tense it all the way I think that falling at the beginning fucked me up very badly oh uh, come on I should have taken the should have taken the the shortcut. I don't know if that thing is really fast right there. It doesn't seem very fast. I'm also level 3. Oh, fuck the statues. Yeah, I think Shet is gonna win this shit. Yeah, give, give all the emeralds to Eggman. Oh, at least I got the, the good bounce there. Maybe I should, instead of going left, I should go right. Seems to be a lot faster there. Just catch the slipstream. The slipstream that, by the way, is something that, <laughs> believe it or not, exists in real life. Not in this same exaggerated way, obviously, but... It does exist. This, I think I'm gonna lose only by a very little bit. Oh fuck yeah, I lose. That's a shame. That's a shame. I almost got it, but yeah. Fuck. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Escape R. Power shortcut is hard to get. I don't think so. You just go to the right. You should cope with it. But that's a shame because it, it was actually close if I hadn't fucked up right in the end. Wait, why am I failing that one on the first try every single time? But I get it on the... Like, is that on purpose? <laughs> it's like they are doing it on purpose. Holy fuck. Let me retry. Because what the fuck is that? Yeah, failed. Absolutely failed. I wasn't holding down. I was holding up, in fact. And it didn't work. Like, I don't get it. It's like they are doing it on purpose. Just to give the other ones an advantage. No, there it is. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. Also, I don't think that's any faster than the actual path, you know? Doesn't really seem any faster to me, at least. This one might be faster, though, but probably not. Maybe here it's just a better idea to go up instead of trying to do anything else with being in yeah. I'm not gonna go to the pits fuck you are those on the first rail what the PS2 logos on the first rail uh, I don't know I mean here no, they are shoes like 
Like they are supposed to represent some kind of rune language or something like that. Wow, nice jump! You jump exactly where was needed to jump. Holy fuck, that was terrible. And I'm taking out on <laughs> I'm taking it out on knuckles. Taking out my ang an my anger on knuckles. Sadly, I'm pretty sure this one is also gonna be them tails it's shoving. So it's just like me. I mean after all, you know that tails pretty much follows everything that that Sonic does, you know. That includes shoving. Very good at that. I'm already in caution. Oh, I level up, okay. Uh, no, that didn't kill me. Ah, uh, come on. Couldn't get up there. Yeah, I think I might fail this one too. The shit is right there, but... I mean, it's not really right there. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I think this is a failure too. Yeah, especially if I do that. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck, I can't believe I can't do this one for some reason. I'm, I am the one shoving this time. All right. Maybe attacking him like that at the beginning might give me an advantage. But I think the issue is going... At the beginning, going left. It seems that going right is just way faster. Okay, there is no reason not to go right, other than maybe being a little bit hard to... Oh, I got an edge, nice. Oh, fuck. That third one is a little bit hard to get. Also, despite hitting him at the beginning, shit is still there. The accelerations on the right side of the pillars. I don't know. I'll check. I also want to go here. Yeah, uh, well, I see those accelerators. Those will be useful. get up there. I think I need to charge it for a little bit longer. Also, you know what will be funny? Is if you... That, that last jump is ridiculously hard. I was gonna say, it will be funny if Knuckles is the one that wins. Because technically, if Knuckles wins, lore-wise, you will win too, because Shed doesn't. You know? They are not there. What you mean they are not there? Wait. Seems that Shed is shoving very hard right now. It's right at the. It's in last place, just like that. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's the... Okay, so that's how you get the 100 rings. They are right there. A little bit too late now. But I might get a 100 rings regardless, you know. Fuck, I, I can't believe I just can't get that. There you go. Oh, come on, Sonny. Just in case I'm gonna fully charge this. You never know. Oh, I didn't fully charge it. Well, that's right. You... I think this is where the, the board explodes, right? That's why the race is over there. That's pretty cool that they actually thought of that. So, shit shouldn't be there. I mean, Knuckles was behind me, not you, shit. You know? 
What are you doing there? Chad knew about the bomb or not. Ah, the dirt suits you so well. Are you turn are you gonna turn into super shed now? <laughs> no. He actually just wants to bring his towers back. Just that basically. The Babylon Tower. I also like how the animators somehow make a bird be able to talk by moving his mouth and not making it look that weird. Yeah, they did a good job with that. Yeah. Those are the Babylon Gardens. This, this is Babylon Garden. Now I'll get the treasure of Babylon. Oh, no! Wait, did Amy lose her pants? Damn, Amy lost her pants somehow. Eggman! Tails! Knuckles! We gotta get Eggman! Damn. I don't know what... It wasn't that cloudy. I found you. It's for that Amy upskirt. <laughs> he looks like a moron. Wait, Sonic, use this. Holy shit! Oh yeah, and here we get the blue comet too. What is it? It's a new gear. It's a board, you moron. What like do you think it is? Thinking ahead, tails. Thanks. Sky Road? Maybe. Jet. You can't catch up with him! Get out of my way! Is that what you think? Take a look at this! I'll show you what true speed really is! This one doesn't have a bomb. Unless Tails, you know. <laughs> Unless Tails put it there. Just for shits and giggles, you know. Maybe Tails just put it there. I don't know. All right, bring it on. Hey man, we have all the Robo Shovers as well. Nice. <laughs> nice hit, Moron. Fuck your slide. Yeah, I remember this song is one of the ones I like a lot. This song is super cool. Emergency alert. Oh yeah, emergency this emergency alert, alert shit. Prepare to repel intruders. Repeat. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. You know how the Babylonians have such a high technology? To be able to have a sound system like that. I mean, they are supposed to be an ancient civilization, you know? Well, then again, they apparently also created these boards. Nice. Thanks 
for the free slip 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 strip. Uh, wait, what? Didn't yeah, know I could go through there without being power. Well, then again, I could also spin the analog stick here. Problem is that I don't really feel like spinning the analog stick that much, you know. I mean, I remember spinning the analog sticks. Oh, I also remember that. Sometimes you needed to take the slipstream from someone else just to be able to get to, to a new area like that one. Ah, oh, fuck me. I remember that corner always being kind of tricky. Oh, fuck me, I'm getting devastated by this shit. Fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna win now. Hopefully. But I kinda doubt it. I lost a lot. But yeah, I do remember that corner being super annoying. For me. But yeah, this is gonna be probably impossible to win right now. This truck has the worst power shortcuts. Maybe, I don't know. And you know that ancient civilizations have flying cars and high frequency blades. I know, my bad. I need to learn more about history. I need to know my history. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely not winning. Uh, you can already see them at the final corner, so I need to restart. Did you look at how small the obstacles are? How small which obstacles are? Oh, you mean the... The one in the power thingy. All right, bring it on. Yeah, I know, I know. Thankfully, I'm not power type here, so I should be fine. That was slow. Damn. Oh, come on. The fucking corners in this truck are ridiculous. It's like Rainbow Road all over again, you know? So, funnily enough, all the robots are ahead of both Shed and me. Have you heard of Mini Drift? No. very useful but still has the problem that if I'm first place at this point well I guess I'm not first place now nice beautiful I definitely don't remember where the hundred rings item was in here pretty sure that every truck has one right Oh uh, man, these fucking corners are gonna be the end of me. Well, I mean, shit is still there, so... But you know, I don't think that not getting first place is enough, even if you technically beat shit, you know? Small drift. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes I try to do that, but you know not that easily. That, that easy, I mean. Yeah. It also is sometimes a little bit hard to control. Nice. Yeah, shit is behind me, but I don't think that really matters that much. Up R1. Hey, yeah, it's just that sometimes it's hard to to control no matter what, you know. 
Yeah, this is, um... I mean, can we just win by technicality? You told me to defeat Shed, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Shed is right behind me. So can we forget about all these robots? You know? They are not that important, I think. Yeah, that, that's what you mean, I know. Spamming like that, it definitely works. Yeah, unfortunately, a robot is gonna win. They are not doing their shove. Their shove is shoving, and they are not shoving here. But yeah. It's fucked up, dude. You say that my mission is defeating Shed, and I did defeat Shed. Shed was right behind me. So what is your fucking problem? I don't know. I think it was all because I... I hit him at the beginning. Pretty much. If I hadn't hit him at the, at the beginning, he probably would be right behind me or something. But you know. The emergency alert. I do remember when I was younger that that emergency alert shit was super annoying to me. It was just super annoying to hear that emergency alert all the time. Well, damn, shit is following this path too. Get fucked. Oh yeah, okay, I see it now. The hundred rings is right there in that gap. Oh, I tried to do. Fuck, man. That corner sucks. Holy shit. Like, even trying to do mini drift, it, it's hard. It's a, it's a very hard corner. Too late. Oh, the emergency alert! Just in case you didn't get it the first time. You have an emergency alert. And also, prepare to repel intruders. I mean... The place is empty. Why will you care if they are intruders or not? At least this guy... Oh... That, that was just evil. But Shed died too, funnily enough. Did you see that? I wasn't the only one dying there. Like, the corner is so shitty that even the CPU can deal with it. <laughs> Shed actually fell at the same time as me. I mean, it might have to do with the fact that I probably hit him slightly, to be fair. But, you know, the referee didn't see that, so there's nothing to be said. It ain't my fault. A mini drift before the corner. I could try and do a big drift. Oh, I didn't get that. I think I'm supposed to press down for that shot. Okay. That was far from optimal, but it worked, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Seems that shit is not that low, so should be good, I think. We should be good. Took me practice. Well, thankfully, it seems that the second place is quite far. 
But I think that I should be fine for the most part. Well, they are quite close now, but... Well, it's all a matter of not failing that final corner. I can avoid failing the corner. There you go, perfect. Got him. Eat shit. Him. Not even raining. It's not raining. It's very cloudy. But it's not raining. It's like here. A lot of times where I live, well, it's kind of the opposite. A lot of times it's raining and there is sun at the same time. That's how crazy the weather sometimes is here. Even without wings, I can still fly. Right? Ugh. Get fucked. Where are you, Eggman? <laughs> oh shit, Amy. What well, have you done with Amy's pants? Just be a good hedgehog and stay still. Now! Can you catch the wind? What? Wait, what the fuck did he Where do? Are you? I'm here. You just wanted to look cool. There was no reason to do to do all of that or that. Hey, catch! What? Hmm. I lost. So don't play games with me. I don't want your pity, nor do I need it. Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it. Treasure is treasure. Ah, uh, I think it's time to leave now. Tails? Yeah. <laughs> I thought yeah. it'd be Come on, okay I save you. with you, and, uh... Damn, with the hammer and everything. Holy shit. Shit is coping. He does that very well. She, w what she was doing there is she jumped into Eggman's ship when he was heading to the Babylon Gardens, for some reason. But you know. Um, oh, that was the hero's story. Obviously, just like Sonic uh, Adventure 2, there is another story from uh, the asshole's perspective, and then uh, a third story that is the final one. So yeah. He got thrown into that bush, yeah. But you know, I kinda wanna see what characters are unlocked, or rather what characters are available from the start, to see which ones you unlock later. What third story? Isn't there a third story? Oh, maybe it... Oh, never mind, maybe it finishes on the second one. Yeah, you might be right been a long time since I played it. But yeah, it might be like that. Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, the, the, the final boss is probably there. You know, got him. Um, you also remember that if you want to purchase everything, a lot of times you need to obviously farm money. And by money is farming rings. I mean, final boss. The the, the 
The little guy in a lamp is a final boss, you know. How else do you want me to call it? It is a final boss. There is no other way to call it, you know. <laughs> and that's a lot of focus on knuckles. Holy shit. That's a lot of knuckles uh, picks. Oh, but I think that that's because... I know that that was an actual weird amount of knuckles pictures. I guess the the guy that made the credits really like uh, knuckles. Well, I don't blame him. Knuckles is a pretty cool guy. You know. I mean, who doesn't like knuckles? Is the real question. I mean, that image it looks like Amy is about to, you know. To get knuckles. This was in 2006. Basically, skate type extreme gear. Mission mode, new mission, unlock Babylon. Oh, I unlock cream. Holy shit, Rush as well. Shadow. Alright. Insert. Oh, the insert song, I'm assuming. All right, so basically the, the, the characters that you unlock at the beginning is uh, Cream Shadow and uh, what was the other one? Ah, Rouge. Let me check. So at, at the beginning, yeah, you have this. Amy was already unlocked from the beginning. And then you have this three, which is pretty cool. Uh, damn, that's, a, that's an interesting Rouge portrait. But yeah, uh, these are the, the, the seven that are available at the beginning. And then there are others that are from other franchises. Like you get uh, Ulala from Space Channel, uh, Ai from Monkey Ball, and someone else that I don't remember. Also from another franchise, but you need to unlock them, obviously. So let's do Babylon. Knuckles is mid. It's mid-tier, is what you're saying. Maybe. Hey, boss! Oh, oh. You've got some major trouble! Damn. Storm, at least learn to knock before entering a room. Well, he's knocking the desk. Does that count? What's this? Oh, is this? Yeah, that's when I took over things for my father. So is this the key to the fabled Babylon Garden? I wonder, could it be true? Could our ancestors have left behind hidden treasures that's just waiting to be discovered? Hmm... Uh-uh. If you get your greasy little hands on this, you'll probably use it in some crazy experiment of yours. Oh, come on. I only want to look at it. You always say you only want this or that. Remember the teachings of our ancestors. Be careful what you ask for. Ultimately, you'll only get three true wishes. Oh, be quiet. Literally Why'd Aladdin. You burst in here anyway? Well, an egghead, egg salad, no. Someone called Eggman wants to speak to you. He told me that he has an interesting proposition for you. Stop interrupting. Knock it off. Hmm. Damn, well, just fuck already. Holy uh, shit. Am I interrupting anything? The amount so of then, tension. I heard you wanted to see me. Are you Jet, the legendary rogue? Your reputation precedes you. I've heard so much about your infamous group. Enough! What do you want? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor that you have the key to Babylon Garden. Now, could this be true? Huh? What's this key? <laughs> really now? You don't have to be so distrusting. Were you aware of this? I imagine not yet. The key to Babylon Garden is... Damn, you can't say that on stream, Eggman. So let me get this straight. We just need to collect all these Chaos Emeralds, right? Sounds easy. You really think so, eh? What do you mean? Are you saying the Babylon rogues aren't capable of stealing some puny emeralds? No, of course not. But have you seen this character before? He's character? Sonic and said to be the fastest creature on Earth. 
I've had many, many dreadful encounters with this pest. Hmm. He may be the fastest creature on the ground, but in the air, with me and my extreme gear, he's just a joke. <laughs> a joke. Anyway, he's just laughing at nothing. What a fucking moron. Alright, so here is where we're getting chased by the police. Basically, every stage has a variation. This is one of them, basically. So here, instead of being daytime and being all shiny and shit, it's nighttime and the police wants you there. And they are also, obviously, as you can see, this is an alternate path. I mean, alternate as in it's not the same as in the, as in the first one, right? So yeah, the, the variations are not just cosmetic changes, they are pretty much brand new tracks. Or I mean, it's, it's technically the same track, but the variations definitely make it different, you know? Eggman was whispering. Oh, uh, that's not a lot. Oh, now that's a lot. I don't know how w that was a success, honestly, but sure, why not? Got him. Sonic is right behind me. Whoa! What's close? Uh oh. Damn, good shit. It's actually avoiding th those things very well. Unlike me. <laughs> right, let's go to the pits. I like that the fact that they are actually called pits. Eggman was whispering how you can use the key to eliminate all the nasty Federalist Hedgehogs. What would be a slur to, to refer to the Hedgehogs, I wonder? How will you call the Hedgehogs by a slur? Maybe you could call them spinners? What a fucking spinner. Hey, you can't say that word. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I need to spin super fast. Come on. Nice. Uh, the night version looks beautiful. It does, yeah. The black truck on the right has a ramp for the speed. Spinner doesn't rhyme with stoners. That's not how rhyme works. You know? Spinner rise with sinner, kinda, but definitely not with stoner. Wave schedule. Oh, and I unlocked. Oh yeah, this is how you unlock the additional tracks. Yeah, but ending it, okay? doesn't Just make float, it a that's rhyme. Good enough for me. <laughs> that's not how rhymes work. At least not uh, in English. Sorry, but it's just too funny. Let's see. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. This, this isn't is half, half bad, bad for an amateur. amateur. Still, Still, you can never, never be, be too, too careful. careful. Hmm. <laughs> well, I never imagined anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, though. It was good for a laugh. The funny <laughs> thing is that she doesn't See, even bother she... hiding it. Girl, who does she think she is? Or like putting some camouflage in the bomb. She just lets the big red dot be there. She's just lucky that everyone is a moron and doesn't notice it. Am Amy? Actually gonna race against Amy? I don't think she will do much, though. We are not even in the same category. She's a speed and I'm fly. That's okay.
Oh yeah, and this one, instead of being in the middle of the day, it's a sunset. That's pretty cool too. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Oh, there is no fly there, but there is fly there. Ah, oh, but I missed it. Fuck. Hey, my name is actually in first place. Impressive. What's also impressive is that I'm about to die. <laughs> I'll die. I do remember... Because I think that the fuel is an interesting mechanic. Uh, how did the fuck did you miss that? But yeah, I remember that I will run a lot of uh, races uh, that basically made it so you lose if your fuel runs out. Because I, I thought it was an interesting mechanic, being able, being able, actually needing to pay attention to the to the fuel. I think it was cool. Amy doesn't fly, she smacks you into flight. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, what the fuck? What just happened there? I think I, I, I hit something, but I didn't even see what I hit. Oh, I should have gone to the right side there. Nice, I picked that one up. The problem is that despite being level 3, the issue is still that Amy has quite the advantage. She actually has quite the advantage. I mean, she looks close. Oh, actually she is close. I thought she was further. Oh, I almost hit her, but I couldn't. Oh, she is in front of me now. Oh, uh, but I... I'm missing every single time. Oh, there is a rock there for some reason. Oh, she got stuck. She actually crashed. She crashed against the wall. I might run out of fuel though. It's not very good. No, I think I should be fine. Okay, and to the right side, yeah, this is gonna be a win. Got him. Good shit. Damn, she has dynamite, holy fuck. Um, the sky is orange. It is orange. Mini drifts can make your direction more accurate. There is an accelerator that leads to the fly ramp. Oh, I didn't see it. Red Canyon. Yeah, the canyon kind of looks like a mystic ruins in Sonic Adventure, right? In the first one, I mean. They kind of look like that. Kind of. Sorry! What? Boss, the, the red dude beat me in the race. I can't believe that. Man, you really are worthless. Dean. Boss, it wasn't my fault. He, he must have cheated. That's it. He must have used some special type of gear. What? Are you implying that you lost because of my gear? No one can tune a gear the way I can. Accept it, buddy. It's not the board. Your skills just suck. Damn. What? Just like that. S suck? Yes. S-U-C-K. Suck. Suck. Just in case Stop there it. was any doubt. <laughs> now, let's get Damn. down to business. That's cool. I believe our colleague Eggman, he's gotta be hiding something. And you know, I don't like secrets. So I've got a job for you, Storm. Sure. I want you to sneak into Eggman's base and find out what he's hiding there. Make sure you look carefully. You've got it, boss. Hey, before you go, bring something back or don't return at all. Yes, sir. Ah! Get the fuck. Is that your ancestor in the picture? Damn, holy fuck. It's getting a gamer moment right there. These fucking spinners. Unbelievable. This um, short time. 
Recent at Sailor. Oh, I already read that. Hope you're ready for this. Uh, you're ready for this. Well, I didn't remember this variation of this circuit, I gotta say. I really didn't. So instead of having lava, it has everything frozen. It, this one is one of those that I did not remember at all. Like, I remember the previous one and the night chase, but this one, I had no idea that it was like this. Like, I, I just didn't remember. Pretty much. Oh, this is in reverse, isn't it? Or maybe not. Kinda looks like it is in reverse, though. There's a lot of these corners feel like the opposite of the... of the normal version. S U C K. Annoying ice physics. I guess as long as you kind of avoid the ice, you should be mostly fine. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. What happens if I go here? This is the power. Huh. I mean, it's useful, but it's not as simple as just going there, you know? Oh, hello. Get the fuck. Oh, I'm 99 rings, damn. Just like that. Uh oh, I'm running out of this. At least I got an edge. Doing tricks is very useful to recover your shit. And also punching shit as well. Well, punching in this case. If you are speed, obviously it will be riding a rail, and if you are fly, it will be flying. That's also what a lot of times it might be a better idea to delay the to delay the level up. So if you delay the level up, at least you know that you're gonna be able to get free fuel. Yeah, that's bad. Especially because I'm missing every single item, you know. Yeah, that's very bad. I will say. It's okay. Check this out. There you go. Alright. That last trick saved me. When the ice takes the entire width of the track. Yeah, but as long as you go straight, you should be fine. As long as you go straight and you don't do anything else, you should be fine. But you know. Yeah. Just chilling. Isn't there a tournament supposedly going on? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Uh. Also, what's huh? your problem? What's taking Storm so long? Just sit down and relax. Chill, Wave. Really, Jet? How can you be so relaxed at a time like this? Don't you see? As the leader, you've got responsibilities. Some you understand, but you... Damn. Unbelievable. At this rate, huh? shit is gonna get cancelled. Hmm. I think it's time for a little fun. That wouldn't... <laughs> You're lucky this is 2000 shit, shit. Hey, Jet! That shit wouldn't fly here. today. Right now. Why do I even bother? Unbelievable. Unless I take charge, nothing ever gets done here. Unbelievable shit. 
Too much of a gamer? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Using the word spinners just like that. Completely ignoring what a girl is saying. Wonder what he's gonna do next. You know, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, after all, you know, that... Um, you know that portrait that Shed has um, in his ship? Kinda reminds me a little of those portraits of... Uh, of those Spanish guys that dress uh, as uh, toreadores, right? Well, toreros. And usually people that are into that are like super conservative, you know? So this guy really has everything to be a gamer. Replace wings with whatever you want. Oh, no wings, might as well go home. Yeah, pretty much. He, he has to be stopped. This can't keep going like this. This guy has everything. I mean, next thing you know is that he's probably gonna, you know... He's probably gonna deny that Eggman turned into robots uh, millions of animals. Of innocent little animals. This guy really has it all. He needs to be stopped at this very moment. And the worst part is that I'm using him and making him win. You know. This guy... is just insane. Oh, fuck me. Well, that's bad. Oh, it's... Oh. oh, I can't believe that the one time I need to go up there, I actually fail to go up there. Fuck. Yeah, I think I lose. B by very little, but I lose. Yeah, I lose. Damn. Fuck. The one time I needed to go to the cobweb, I couldn't. Wait, what? Did I not... Well, it's okay. I thought I pressed retry. That was weird. I, I was sure I pressed retry. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Good thing that it saves your progress, you know? I mean, seems that it's a very common trope in fiction that there is, you know, an evil guy that turns, uh, that turns li living things into statues. Well, I don't think it's that common, but a lot of people use it. Just happens. Wow. Like, well, Rugal from King of Fighters is also another one. It just has the, co the the hobby of turning fighters into statues, just because you know. Just because. How the fuck did I fail this jump at the end? I can't believe it. But at the same time... Yeah, no, I, I think that... 
having that sham might have uh, might have uh, given me the victory back in the previous race, probably. Yeah. Also, don't you think that shit? I look at Shed's um, at his uh, board. Doesn't it look like he's Brazilian? Uh, he has green, and I'm talking about that, uh, you know, bright green. And then he has yellow, that is surrounded uh, a dark color, that is not exactly blue, but it's as dark as blue. Oh wow, don't tell me I'm gonna lose this one. No, barely. Holy fuck, that was actually close. But yeah, like, maybe Shed not only is a gamer, but he's a Brazilian gamer. Can you believe that? Yannick, he's your compatriot. Just like that. Damn, White Cave is also the track. Boss! Sorry to keep you waiting for me. How'd it go? <gasps> Take a look at this, boss. Gimme. A great thief, that makes sense, to him. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's fucked up, yes, come yes. on. You can't say Why that, Yannick. It's an entry in diary. It's about the Babylon treasure from our ancient ancestors. Hmm. <laughs> I got those bird brains to believe that Babylon treasure was just a gem. I can't, I can't believe that they, they fell for it. For it. What, what fools? Can you, can you believe the real treasure is the ancient but advanced technology of the Babylonians? What irony! I found a story about a boy who received an angel wing from the Babylonians as a gift. The story says that with it, the boy was able to rule the world. And this was just a gift. I'm anxious to find this technology as soon as possible. Imagine the vast possibilities of the technology they must have kept for themselves. <laughs> oh, man. I guess it's not a gem after all. Hmm. Oh, well. Guess this was just a wasted effort. Too bad, really. I haven't the slightest interest in world domination or advanced technology. Hey, wait a second, okay, Jet? While Eggman may not look smart, he is. He has an IQ of 300, after all. <laughs> if he's interested sure he in this does. technology, it must have value. Are you saying there's profit in this? Think about it. It may be more valuable than finding silver or gold. Ah. Damn, he definitely is bird brain. <laughs> Actual bear brain. I was just having this great daydream. Come on, Jet. It's time to go back to the race. All right, let's finish this. Then we'll finally get the treasure of Babylon. What the fuck was that beep? Was that an alarm that she just has there? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, and now there is an eclipse. This truck, I remember it being quite hard. Like, it wasn't like the first one that is relatively easy. This one was a little bit complicated, I think. For what I remember, at least. Maybe that was the case, maybe that wasn't. I don't know. Let's see. I was at this core ping to get your ass on the race, then. I guess Wei was truly ahead of her time. Making this core ping just like that. But yeah, you should go to the middle of the city. This is supposed to be Arabia. 
some shit like that. I don't think Shunko will be mad at the moon not appearing. I think it will be quite the opposite. Oh, how do you miss the fucking rings like that? Holy fuck. How did you miss it? Unbelievable. Also, I like how you should skip this whole section if you are a speed type here. It hit the sun. I mean, if it's a lunar eclipse... I mean, no. Uh, let me correct myself. A solar eclipse, for the most part, has the moon blocking it. So you could say that it's both at the same time. Like, it's not just the sun that is blocking, that is getting blocked, but it's also the moon that is getting blocked as well. Because you basically only see the shadow of the moon. So I will say that it's a little bit of both. I mean, more the sun, but the moon also gets a little bit... Oh wow, I actually got that super fast. I'm trying to hit Sonic and he keeps getting away like a little shit. It's okay, I still win anyway, so get fucked. That actually wasn't as hard as I remember. I somehow remember this a lot harder. Can we see the dark side of the moon? Yes! Pretty much, you see the dark side of the moon. But you know. Uh, Babylon Cup added to World Grand Prix. Oh, that's right, you have Grand Prix like in, <laughs> like in Mario Kart. Pretty much. Newsflash. A mysterious airborne object has just appeared above the site where the X-World Grand Prix is being held. Apparently, Sonic and his friends have gone to investigate. We'll try and get more details right after this important announcement. Damn, so Omo Chao is a new uh, anchor? Oh man, looks like we have company. We gonna rumble? Targeting, targeting, a tap. Now's not the time to fight. I mean, come on, they are Smart just bacon. pieces of, of trash. Forget the red mutt. Let's go, Storm. The red mutt. Holy mutt? fuck. Why, why you? These guys are absolute bigots. Holy shit. These guys are true gamers. The red mutt. I can't believe that. This guy is truly, yeah, more gamer awards. Holy fuck. Red Mutt. Jesus Christ. Can you believe that? Flight? Oh, nowhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are supposed to fly higher, or to jump higher there. Yeah, and this one has the um, the hundred rings there. But the problem is that yeah, you, you need to wait for the second lap. You don't have it available at the beginning. There needs to be some shooting first. I don't know if I want to risk it though, it doesn't seem like the smartest idea to be honest. I don't know if I want to risk... I, I remember that that being a very high risk thing to do, to jump there, but I don't think I want to try it. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that's wasting time. Trying to charge like that. Okay. I could get one more level. I need seven rings. What will happen? That, that's actually faster than taking the, the second one, I think. There is the level up. But yeah, I'm not even gonna risk getting the 100 rings. It's completely unnecessary. Oh, fuck me. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We are still fine. Actually, we are crushing absolutely everyone. Hey, look at that. Like, the second place is so far behind, and it's a storm. It's extremely far behind. Holy shit, get fucked. You could take the no-fly ring and go straight to the right. Maybe. Red mud, blue spinner, yellow defect. Well, at least Tails, I mean, the only offensive thing that was said to Tails is that his board was a piece of shunk. But I don't think they, they say anything to, to, to Tails itself. Speedrun Strat. Hmm, I lost. So don't play games with me. I don't want your pity, nor do I need it. Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it. Treasure is treasure. Come on, let's get out of here. Easy. Well, there is a still the actual... Okay, let's go! The actual final boss. Which happens here. When we open the door to Babylon. So, for what I remember, the, the final boss was very easy. Yeah, I know, it, it's not over yet. Yeah, the final boss in this game wasn't very hard. I would say that the final boss in Zero Gravity was a little bit harder. <laughs> Here we fight against the Shinji. What? Or however you pronounce that word. <laughs> hmm. Finally, something interesting. Finally, something interesting. Yeah. Whoa! What is this? A Pokemon? Shiratina. Yeah, the songs are pretty good. That's something that is consistent in all the Sonic... Um, in pretty much all Sonic games, really. And there are gargles already. But yeah, basically you need to hit this guy three times. It's not really that hard. Problem is that... It's easy to fuck it up. The, the good thing is that the, the laps don't progress unless you hit him. So it's not like... I mean, whether you want it or not, you are gonna hit him. You know, the, the game makes sure you hit him. Got him. Yeah, basically, when you hit him, the whole uh, place re reveals its true colors. Wow, that champ was very bad. I don't know if I need to win. I'm not sure about it. I win the race, I mean. I don't remember that. Let me 
it shouldn't be that hard. This is literally an oval track, you know. Get his ass. Got him. If this really is that work, if that that rail there. Only what? Yeah, pretty much. That's why this guy is pretty much a Pokemon. Yeah, at this rate, I'm definitely not gonna win the race. I mean, I'm beating this moron for sure, but... Oh, he didn't expect that projectile, though. Yeah, well, okay, that's fine. We, we can do one more lap. Yeah, like, if you don't hit him, the race is not gonna be over. That's the thing. Like, this doesn't count as a lap. Pretty much. Oh, damn. Uh, Wave actually hit him, but it doesn't count because she doesn't happen to be the protagonist. That's pretty funny. Sorry, but only protagonists get to do the final hit. Or, well, any hit, really. Okay, I'm not gonna take the rail. Fuck the rails. I have... Tails is gonna win. I don't mind Tails winning, really. I mean, I'm gonna give the, the win to my best buddy, why not? Sure. Wave is only for nagging the... I know, the game reminds you. Even the game agrees with shed views. But yeah, you didn't even need to win. Hey, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give my, my homie Tails the win. He deserves it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Too awestruck by the treasure to notice me, eh? Eggman! Now hand over the treasure! Uh. <laughs> What's so funny? Hand over the treasure right now! Okay, catch! <laughs> the treasure of Babylon is finally mine! Huh? What is this thing? A piece of cloth? <laughs> Let's see. It just says fuck you with a middle finger in the paper. At long last, we've completed our ultimate invention. With this, our lives will be easier without the need to work so hard to keep ourselves flying. Stolen, the 13th leader of the Babylon Rogues. It's amazing. The carpet's rich texture is a sight to behold, and the way it feels is extraordinary. How oh, will you know you're wearing lows? In Babylon. Undoubtedly, this carpet will be in high demand from all around the world, but, but what's this? No way. I went to the trouble of holding the World Grand Prix for... for this? I... I can't believe I just wasted my time for this piece of junk! Him Eggman is... Bipolar. Hmm, what's this? Good eyes! Didn't think you'd spot it for a second, Shorty, but you did! Holy fuck, what Shorty! There you have it! it isn't just a piece of fabric! The right. slur for... for the tails! Material. It's the same stuff we use for our extreme gear! You don't say! Him. He called Tails a shorty. Oh, it's... At least she didn't say manlet, but you know. <laughs> Not sure, but maybe it's a prototype gear. A magic carpet? I thought that those only existed in fiction. That's quite funny, actually. I never imagined that we Babylonians could be descendants of real genies. Him. How are you surprised by a flying carpet when you're literally in a flying island? Holy shit! Are these guys stupid? Yeah, the back of the carpet has more words of wisdom. It says, this was invented to allow Babylonians to travel all over the world to gather treasure. Some things never change, huh? But enough of this friendly banter, Sonic. You better make sure you're ready when we meet face to face once again. You bet. 
Come on, Jed, it's time to split. Hey, I wanted to say that. <sighs> we should split too, right? Yes. For the second time? She said it before. They are stoners. See, I noticed that. They, they threw that flying carpet. I'll be back, but not in the GameCube, because for some reason we couldn't put uh, zero gravity on the GameCube. Yeah, for some reason zero gravity is not on the GameCube. Uh, it's only on PlayStation 2 and the Wii. Uh, well, I guess it's because the GameCube couldn't handle it, but it would be weird if the GameCube couldn't handle it. I guess they just wanted to promote the Wii. Oh, when she planted the bomb, she says, see a shorty, really? I didn't remember that, good catch. Well, we basically completed the story with the big old team. Can you believe it? These guys, how can they keep getting away with it? Like, not even Eggman is as much of a gamer as these guys. Like, holy fuck. Insane. And the worst part is that they are pretty much uh, allies. In the sense that from here on we that they kinda become friends with the with the main cast. Oh also something that I didn't realize is that in this game the credits are actually not uh, lagging. So I guess it was something weird from Sonic Heroes. Yeah, there is Sega Carnival. I remember those tracks. What I don't remember is how to unlock them. But I mean, there is a lot of shit to do. There is a lot of challenges. There are tournaments. Imagine being friends with Manlet. <laughs> Sonic... I don't know. Sonic is... Well then again, in the Sonic universe, everyone is a shorty. I mean, I don't know why Wave is saying shorty. She's just as short as everyone else, you know? So I'm not sure what they... What they are all... Bragging about. You know? But yeah. Like, in fact, Eggman, that is usually the the butt of a lot of shows, at least that guy is, like, taller than 99% of the cast. Shots of Storm getting wrecked twice. Yeah, the guy can catch a break. And he's being paired with Knuckles, so... To be an even bigger shover than Knuckles, that's an achievement in itself, you know? Alright, so we got bike type and new missions. Digital Dimension, Babylon Guardian, oh, Unlock Eggman. I got the Magic Carpet and the E-Rider, okay. Alright, 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 alright. So I guess I need to do those missions now. More of a shover than the red muddy, yeah, I know, right? It's insane. What other things do we have here in the shop? Oh, that's a lot of shit, holy fuck! Wait, am I looping? I think I am looping, am I not? Wait. How many are there? So there are like 20 or 30 in total. All right, well, you need to farm a shit ton of money though. I don't know if I'm gonna farm enough rings to buy all of that shit, to be honest. 
tougher than the rest of the shovers. I think I grinded enough to buy every sh every gear. Yeah, I think I did too. Like, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I might have. I might have done that. Alright, so... I guess we can do... Wait, I can do the World Grand Prix, right? I could try doing this too. Right? Or what should I do first? Does doing this unlock anything in particular? Or... Or do, you, do I just need to go straight for the missions? Storm mission and wave mission. And I'm assuming there is a shed mission at the end. Which one do you recommend that I do first? The Grand Prix or the missions? Because I really don't mind either. What I said. But you say to unlock Sega Carnival. I don't know how to do that. Right, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Stoner, I have no clue. I don't remember, it's been a long time. World Grand Prix, alright. World Grand Prix it is. Okay, we actually have Shadow. Eggman. Um, I kind of want to use Cream though. I mean, I just really like Krim. She's a very cute character. Damn, and her... Her board is called Smile. Damn, the E-Rider actually is very good, apparently. And Darkness... Aren't those supposed to be Shadow? Yeah. It is. But no. What the fuck did she say? She spoke in such a high-pitched voice that I couldn't even hear what she supposedly say there. Get a great start. Yeah, as she asked darkness. Yeah, you rider. I really have no clue what she's trying to say, dude. Oh, please take it easy on me. Interesting. Please be channel. Unbelievable. He has shorts. Yeah. He actually looks sporty. Oh, you're supposed to go right side if you want to fly there. No, it's okay. Not that important. Knuckles is right behind me. It looks so menacing when you look at it down there. It's really gonna fuck you up. You better watch out. I also got very lucky with the items because I almost have a hundred. Oh, and Knuckles crashed in the corner, I think. Well, either crash or did something very stupid. Or both, really. This is not vanilla. Don't tell me. Use the tornado trap on the red mud. I mean, I think the red mud is a little bit far from here, so I don't think it should be a problem, really. The 100 rings, it's always a good thing to finish a race with 100 rings because that's actual currency that you get. How to use the tornado trap? I don't know. 
Fucking cream fly if she got nerfed. I mean, she could fly in Sonic Heroes, so... She got rebuff. Sonic Heroes, she's the one that carries the team. It wasn't for her, there is no flying for the team. Oh yeah, pretty much. Splash Canyon. I also like how when she runs, she doesn't... Wait, what did she do? I didn't quite understand that animation. Let me see it again. Yes, I won't see it again. Hey, Yokai, how is it going? It quite literally carries, indeed. I'm here... I'm here shoving, I guess. I'm shoving to Shadow. Which is by himself a pretty big shover, so I'm actually stealing his shot. Wow, that was very rude from Shed. How can you hit a kid just like that with no remorse? Unbelievable. Like, Shed just keeps on going with the nasty shit. Like he just doesn't stop. I think you... Is it possible that you cry in the enemy's face? Is that your attack? Doesn't seem very effective, I would say. Going great, didn't know you play Sonic. Yeah, I'm a very big Sonic fan. In fact, before I came back to Twitch, I was streaming pretty much all of the previous Sonic games before this one. Like I streamed the Genesis ones, I streamed Sonic Adventure, Sonic Heroes. And this time is the, t the turn for, for Sonic Riders, pretty much. I'm not playing literally every single game, but I'm playing at least what I would call most of the important ones, kinda. You know. Or at least the ones I like. Taking this shortcut should put me. In oh no, still not first place, huh? That's fucked up. Am I got attacked? Wait, did I get attacked or did I attack someone else? Well, I'm getting third place here. Though Knuckles got in seventh place, so this is not gonna be that bad. Knuckles was the previous second place, so this should still be very fine. Shadow is... well, Shadow and Sonic are the two to look uh, out for. Um... If you don't finish in first any race, you should straight up retry. Why? Why should I retry? I know I was never really a regular, I only visited like twice before you had to some Twitch, but I'm still glad for your return. Thanks! I'm glad to be back too. You know? Uh, I, I, I miss Twitch. Wait, do I need to finish first in all tracks? Why didn't you say that before? I wouldn't have shot like that. I need to be first in all tracks. Well, I mean, if I'm, if I really need to be first, I'm not gonna pick a shover like that. I'm actually gonna pick my boy. Also, thanks for the follow, Yokai. <laughs> thanks. Do you think you can beat me? If you're pl playing the important ones, you need Sonic.exe. <laughs> Get a great start. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Do you think you can beat me? Wow. Eggman is so fucking tall. Holy shit. 
He looks like Kamoro. Level 3 Eggman attack is literally a fart. Nasty. Eggman is power type, right? I think. Wow, this shit runs out of... Oh, I see how it is. So this thing constantly is losing... Oh, so that's why it was so good. Alright, no, that, that's not a good idea. I thought it was gonna be a good idea, but no, that, that's not a good idea at all. Like, it loses the speed so fast, holy fuck. Alright, well, in that case, I'm just gonna use Cream. I mean, I, I thought that the, that the bike was, like, super good because of the stats, but <laughs> it's not very good if you lose speed like that. Nice trick, I know. Yeah, that's quite a shebate, I gotta say. Okay, I mean, now I'm gonna try not to shove. Like, now that I know that you need to win every race, I'm gonna try not to shove. It's not like I can make miracles, you know. I will try. The problem is that getting first place in every single track, that's quite hard to do, you know? Oh damn, uh, Cheese attacked him. Just realize. That's fucked up. Just like that. Shit is in first place, so at least that's fitting. Damn. Shadow can suck my dick. Oh, he's right behind me. So the one I need to care about is Shed. I could attack him, but this is still a little bit far for me to go for an attack. Damn, th this shit is fucking fast. Where was this shit on the previous Grand Prix? It's actually doing it super fast. I mean, compared to anyone else, I mean. I don't think flying here really gives you that much speed compared to... Well, not flying. <laughs> oh, I didn't attack him. Barely. Oh, but he got hit by a car. Oh. Well, then again, this track is absolutely free, so this is not the issue. The issue are the tracks that, that come afterwards. Those are a little bit annoying. Got him. But yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem, because the, the other ones depend a lot on obviously depend a lot on you not fucking up but i don't know if i can do that on my first try like maybe i will need to go for the missions first before this because i don't really think there is much i can do to not fuck it up i guess other than buying a, a broken board i could try doing that And getting that fucking shortcut is so hard. Like it's just insanely hard to get that one. Alright. Let me go here. Oh, someone is taking the power shortcut, I think. No, that's okay. Oh, and Rush is right behind me. I also how the tricks of every character kind of reflect the, their, like the names reflect their personality. Oh, Rush is right behind me. 
It's fucked up because here, when you're first place, if someone catches your slipstream, your chances of staying in first place are super slim, you know? I hear that the slipstream really works in very exaggerated ways. Very Pepega how zero gravity nuke tricks. Well, it's, I don't think that's the dumbest thing that Zero Gravity did. I think the worst part of Zero Gravity is the whole upgrade system that they put there. I mean, I know that this game has level up, but level up is a very simple concept. You pick up rings and that's it. Oh, shit. You need momentum to do forward high tricks. Do you need violence and speed as well? Oh, I almost missed that one. Dodging the ice in that cave is very hard. I don't know if it's ice or if they are just crystals. We're almost there for the fly ring. Yeah, I know. Be violent with the controller. Yeah, I'm trying not to spin it too hard. Because, you know, I value this PS4 controller a lot. So, I really wouldn't want the controller's analog to get all fucked up and shit. Because that would suck. Alright, the egg factory... I don't know about... I don't know about that. Also, hey Sawano, thanks for the raid. How are you doing? How did everything uh, go? And also, <laughs> thanks for the follow AMD64. And I can't believe that the architecture that I'm using should follow me. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, that's right, you can't uh, take out the robots with, with cream, obviously. Uh, this is bad. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's not a problem. You have taken the shortcut. Yeah, I guess taking the shortcut there is super useful. Also, hey, super anonimo. <laughs> We get another... Oh, wait! Are you all Spanish speakers? Because I think that if I remember correctly, Sawano speaks Spanish, right? Or am I wrong? Because if you're Spanish speakers, you can speak Spanish. I mean, I'm not gonna answer in Spanish. But if you understand English, you can just talk in Spanish. You're Argentinian also? Nice! Good stuff. Are you from the capital? I mean, I know that most people that are on the internet are usually from the capital, but, you know. I guess it might be... Oh, that's... I completely fucked it up there. At least I got the, the shortcut. But yeah. I mean, it's very hard to see someone on the internet that is not from the capital. Oh, you are not from the capital? From the west? Padua? Where is Padua? What province is that? Or is that... <laughs> oh, you are in... Um, you are from Conurbano? Yes, oh, I see, nice. Yeah, that, that's also another common occurrence. I, I think I remember there was only one... Oh, fuck that shortcut. It's so hard to get. That's it. Oh, uh, this might be bad. It, okay. Aim is right behind me. Come on! 
Got it. Ooh, that was super close. Merlo, Moron, they are close to those places. I see, I see, yeah. Um, Hades sits is better than... Yokai told me you were streaming. Oh, I, I just read that. Oh, so Yokai sent you here. Well, thanks, Yokai, for that. Yeah, but obviously, thanks, Sawano, for doing it at the end. Yeah, like I was gonna say, I remember there was one time that there was. I was in Warframe's chat back when I play Warframe, and there was one time uh, that that I saw someone that is from uh, Neuken and that was pretty pretty interesting because it's very hard for, to see people <laughs> from a province that is not Buenos Aires you know I don't know who it was I mean it was like more than five years ago and it was in the in the in Warframe's chat, so I have no idea who it was. But yeah, there was just someone from Neuken, and I was like, "Holy shit! Can't believe it." That's a first, you know. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I I, I thought. Because yeah, most people that you see in the internet, you see in the internet. Uh, that are from Argentina are usually from Buenos Aires. I mean, either Conurbano or the capital city. Pretty much. Oh, he's from Neuquén and plays Warframe? Damn! That's a hell of a coincidence. How is it going, El Bobin? <laughs> no, I mean, it might have been you, I don't know. Problem is that it was a long ass time ago. He, even if it was him, he probably doesn't remember. What I do remember is that in his uh, name tag, he did have like an abbreviation. Uh, like, the last three letters of the name tag were an abbreviation of Neuken. No, no, I'm not from Neuken. I'm, I'm from, well, right now I'm in the Atlantic coast. But, you know. Um, no, I was saying that I remember someone in Warframe's chat from a long ass time ago. And they told me that uh, they were from Neuquén. <laughs> I remember that because it was a very rare occurrence of someone that I talked to in the internet that was both from Argentina and a place that wasn't the usual places, you know? That was quite surprising to me. And it seems that we have yet another one now. From Neuquén. How are things in Neuquén, by the way? I'm basically, you know, like I know obviously the other provinces, but like, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what goes on the other provinces. Like I just assume, uh, but uh, you're very close to Chile, right? Like you're right there in the in the border with Chile. Well, I mean, there is a whole mountain in between, but I mean. You can cross that mountain, it's right there. Oh, so this is stage being the last one. Uh, this is gonna be bad. This is stage being the last one. It's not a good thing at all. I don't know if being flight type is gonna be better, but I did very badly in this stage. Oh, yeah, it could be good because of this. As long as I get the ring. I missed the first one, but it's okay. Oh, and here you get the, the 100 ring no matter what. Probably should have left it for last, but... Oh, I think that trick is not the right one. It's okay, don't worry about it. It's okay, just keep going. Just keep going. You still... Feels like you lose a shit ton of 
of fuel. Just like that. Yeah, I guess being flight type here is not a bad idea. You don't live in Neuquén anymore. I used to live there from 2018 to 2019. Oh, I see. Ouch. Now I'm back at my... Wait, give me a second. Give me a second, because this... Oh, I fucked it up. And that jump is super hard to make properly. Uh, cinco saltos. Where is that? What province is that one? That's a cool name, Cinco Salto. I mean, there is a lot of very interesting names for a lot of places. You know, there is that... Um, there is that place that it's supposed to be an oil... Uh, I know your reserve that is called Baca Muerta, you know? The, the famous oil reserve. And it's funny because it's such a weird ass name. But it's cool. It's still a cool name, I would say. It, it gets points for coolness. Considering I don't want to shins it, but I'm not doing that badly. <laughs> of course, I had to shins it, but it's okay. Second place is so far away that there is no way he wins now. Even if he takes the shortcut, he can't win. He's way too far. Yeah, there is no way he wins. Got him. Just like that. Oh, in, oh, I can't pronounce that, uh, I can't pronounce that name, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I can't pronounce the name of that province because Twitch doesn't like that word, unfortunately. But yeah, you, you live there. Nice. Um, it's 30 minutes from Neuquén, I see. Oh, Vaca Muerta is close to Cinco Saltos, nice. It's literally dying because it's almost dry, Tim. Oh, can Vaca Muerta die even more? Well, oh, I unlocked the, the thing there. I always pronounce it, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just playing it safe because you know that ya the Yannick, I don't know why I say Yannick. You know that Twitch at any time they hear something and they are like, hmm, this word. But yeah. Yeah, Rio No Blanco. I, I like that one more. I, I like that one more. That one, they, they, they can't blame you for that one. You know? I wonder who I'm gonna pick. I guess I could try Amy. Why not, right? Not gonna hold back. You better watch out around me. <laughs> yeah. Yannick reports you if you say anything that that Twitch doesn't like. He's a snitch. I'm just kidding. Yannick will never do that. Yeah. It, it's always interesting. Like, I kind of will want to to travel through through my country more but the problem with traveling is how much of a pain in the ass it is to travel like if i could do like goku and just put two fingers in my forehead and teleport i will do that in a hard bit you know there are so many places that I would like to visit like that. Yeah, the issue is that it's not as easy as easy like that, unfortunately. But yeah, the fact that you need to, you know, do so many things. You just need to do so many things to travel. And it's just annoying. Not to mention the economic factor, you know. 
It's also not cheap. Die running valid then. That police car? Fuck the police. Night chasing shocking for known power types. Yeah, it is quite fucked up for known power types. Also, thanks for the following, El Bobby. <laughs> You're kind of us saying that name because <laughs> that's normally something that you will say as an insult. Well, if you pronounce it in an Argentinian accent, right? Something that could be used as an insult. It's okay. I could call you Bobbin. I, I I could give you the the Americano uh, pronunciation. Just call you Bobbin. I think I'm. I will lose this one, right? Damn, I lose to Cream. I can't. Oh no, Storm. Oh, I need to restart. Hey, Yami, how is it going? Yeah, I said Americana, you showed up. I only did traveling inside Buenos Aires. I never been to another province yet. You're going Lurk mode. You're playing Warframe with some friends. I see. Well, have fun with Warframe. It's been a very long time since I played Warframe. El Bobito, <laughs> yeah, but I guess Bobin can be, uh, 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 you know, can be an equivalent too. Wait, you use Bauban? Really? You're a Bauban player? You really like that crowd control, don't you? Yeah, Bauban is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool Warframe. I remember that back when I played Warframe with my friends, the, the guy that was using Bauban was essential. Without Bauban, it's like we were gonna get demolished. Especially when the enemies start one-shotting you. Sevagot? I don't know who that character is because I pretty much stopped playing Warframe like three years ago. <laughs> So, any of the Warframes that were released... Oh, fuck, I go. Fuck, fuck. Any of the Warframes that were released after that time, I have no clue what they do or how they look like. I was basically pretty much a Wukong player. I just like being immortal. I don't know how nerf Wukong is <laughs> right now, but back when I played Wukong was super good was one of the best characters in the game. It's from a year ago and literally a Shosho reference team. Referencing Shosho without paying royalties? Say it ain't so. Wukong is still broken? Damn, that's nice to hear. I guess there is still things to do for Wukong people. Yeah, Wukong is one of those characters that you can hunga bunga and uh, like there is no fucks given. You can do whatever, you can get away with murder with Wukong. You can be the shittiest player in the game and still survive. That's what I like about Wukong because I fucking suck, you know. So using someone like Wukong will mean that it doesn't matter if I suck. It will be uh, perfect. Labos. It wasn't in the game three years ago. Yeah, I also don't recognize Labos. I'm pretty sure. I think the last character that was released while I was still playing. It was either Nidus or Gara. I think. I don't remember which one of those, to be honest. Nidus or Gara, I think, I, like, I'm not even sure about that. I, I'm just assuming that's the case, but I think that it was those two that were at the end, like, when I stopped playing. 
Probably Gara. I, I, I will be inclined to say Gara. Wukong plus Sar Kuba easy game. Nice. Yeah, the other one that I remember that was very good, like Wukong, was Valkyr, but Valkyr also got nerfed super hard. Like, at some point, they realized that Valkyr was so good, like, so unstoppable, that they were like, nah, we can't have people, you know, be good, be that good. So they nerfed Valkyr to the fucking ground. Also then, Strawberry Sham, thanks for the raid. That's a big raid, how is it going? How is everything going, Strawberry Sham? I like Strawberry Sham. It's been a while since I eat in Sham though, I gotta say, but I like it. And obviously, hello to everyone uh, coming here. There is a lot of names, so <laughs> I don't think I could say it every single one. But hey, hello for for everyone that is here. So you are from the Sonic Riders community, huh? I see. Yeah, I, I'm a very big Sonic Riders fan. Just that I personally, uh, you know, I've been. I mean, last time I played this game was like ten years ago, <laughs> or or something like that. So. Basically replaying it again from the first time. Obviously, instead of when a PlayStation 2, this time on an emulator. And it's not even the PlayStation 2 version. This is the the GameCube version. Have you heard of Sonic Raiders Competitive? Yeah, I've been told uh, by uh, Bravi about the that there is a competitive community for the game but i'm a very casual player you know i don't really play competitive games at all i'm super casual also thanks for the follow king of abyss but yeah i'm super casual i'm the definition of a casual player uh, you know it doesn't get much more casual than me <laughs> Oh yeah. Also, thanks for the follow, Strawberry. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, the only competitive games that I kinda used to play and not even that much are fighting games. And even fighting games are the kind of games that that I'm not really. I don't really play that much because I get so salty every time I play them. It's like, when I play a fighting game, like, I already know what to expect. I know I'm gonna get salty and I still do it. Because I'm, I'm a masochist, apparently. Yeah. That's the closest to a competitive game that I play, pretty much. Yeah, this is Vanilla Riders. Well, the one from GameCube, not the one from PlayStation 2. There is a power shortcut. Yeah, I think I saw it. Uh, but yeah. Gara is from 2017, Gara Prime is from 2020. Yeah, I think that that might be the last one that I that I play. Valkyrie is still kind of broken. Gara, I believe, was Planes, Planes of Eidolon back in the day, Fortuna. Yeah, Planes of Eidolon, I think that that was the last update, pretty much. The planes of Phaidon, like I remember fighting against the the three gigantic assholes with friends, and and I think that that's the last thing that I did. Um, but yeah, unfortunately uh, for the <laughs> for the people that come with the raid, I will have to disappoint you that I'm not a competitive person so unfortunately i don't think i will be into competitive sonic riders i'm i'm just a casual you know I'm, i i i choose uh, chill with the games it, it, it's just the way the way i like it you know because you know i don't have a competitive mindset that's the problem like 
I, I I think I never had a competitive mindset really. Like never ever. Like not when I was young, not when I was growing up, and certainly not now. Oh, I fucked that up. Uh, that I thought that Knuckles would be able to break those. I guess not. Damn, and this slipstream didn't let me go to the. Then let me go to the shortcut, god damn it. Yeah. I guess the main issue with the competitiveness is just that I'm very hard. I'm very hard. I didn't mean to say that. It's very hard for me, that's what I meant to say. Very hard for me not to get salty. I get very salty when I'm competing against someone else. I mean, usually I try to hide it a lot, but after a little bit of time, it's very clear that I just can't hold the salt, you know. I get molded by the salt, it's just the way it is. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way I'm built. I mean, if I already get salty when I'm playing against nothing, like when I'm playing against the CPU, imagine how salty I get when I'm playing against a real person. Like, you know, it's just a world of salt. And you know, obviously, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of salt in your life, but you know, you need to take care of your cholesterol. That's the issue. Oops, that's bad. Well, it's okay, Knuckles, you can run to the Etsy, right? <laughs> I'm sure you can. At least I got that. I could have recharged there as well. But... Uh, it's okay, Knuckles, you can... I'm pretty sure you can... Uh run probably i mean the second place is very far behind so i'm pretty sure you got this yeah you got this don't worry about it you don't want to be a shover i mean i don't think it's about being a shover it's about the salt you know that's the issue there is a lot of sodium to be made uh when you are playing competitive and the sodium is not good for your health because it blocks your your circulation the blood circulation that's the issue with it it's just uh, very problematic because of that Oof. Most of the salt in the ocean. It's been a long time since I haven't been to the beach, even though it's literally two streets away. <laughs> but, you know. Um, yeah. And you know, even when I go to the beach, I try not to, not to touch the sea if I can avoid it. <laughs> Yeah, it, it kind of sucks to to feel the saltiness of the sea. Yeah, I'm tougher than the rest of them. The, the best of them. They call me Knuckles. I ignore the power shortcut. I don't even see the power shortcut. Damn, shit got punch. Quite hard. Hey, fuck shit. Oh, one more ring. To level up. Oh, that power shortcut, you mean. Yeah, I could have gotten it, but I don't know what to expect at the other side, so I'm not sure if I want to get it. Oh, shit didn't take the shortcut perfectly. Yeah, the three arrows, I know. It's just that I don't know what to expect. 
I don't know if it's a good idea for me to YOLO like that. That's the issue. They are accelerators. I guess I will try, but... Well, shit. Yeah, he's not that far. I don't think he's that close either to be a threat. No, I don't think he's gonna be a threat. He's right there. It's, he's fine. Don't you worry about him. No, but I think... Okay, I'm gonna go here. That... That... that? Oh, I see. So it kind of makes you think that it's a platform that you can fall, but it's surrounded by invisible walls. Because otherwise it will be kind of impossible not to fall. Got him. So, here is the problem. The last track... I'm very used to beating the last part of the last track by just using the rails in the final section. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it with Knuckles. Like that's actually gonna be a problem. Can't even punch the trees at the start yet. Trees are very strong, you know. But yeah. This track is a problem. Like I'm not sure if I'm if I have that much practice without using a speed type here. Not sure if I can do it, but I'll try. Oh, interesting. Trying to hit Amy slow me down and didn't slow her down. Boom, get fucked. Okay, power type is on this side, apparently. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. I think it's a lot faster, especially because you need to jump like this. It just seems a lot faster to go... to go on the... on the speed side. Obviously, you can go on the speed side if you're not speed. I mean, you can, but you're gonna waste time unnecessarily. At least you can get that shortcut in the final section. In, I mean, in the... well, yeah, literally the final section. And I'm level 3. The problem is that Amy is too dangerously close, you know? Like, she's right there. No fucks given. Wait, and she's right behind me? Wait, how the fuck did you get that fast? I guess I'm that slow, probably. At least you get a lot of energy there. I don't know how to get past this thing. Do I need to charge more? Because I'm doing it very slowly. Right. Yeah, for some reason Amy is actually... Holding her own super well right now. This is actually gonna be dangerous. This is actually gonna be dangerous. Oh, I guess I can go below instead of jumping like an idiot there. Probably a better idea. Alright. Yeah. Can't believe that Amy is the one to look to look out for. I like, look at how fucking close she is. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get energy here anyway. So yeah. I guess if she takes the the main rails, it's very easy to see why she will be. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's okay. I can still get the final. Well, final shortcut or just punch the shit out of her. That works too. Holy fuck. <laughs> Get out of my face. Just like that. Good shit, Knuckles. It was actually up to the task. I think that with this we unlock that other track. Good shit. Hey, I just needed to pick the... Um, the guy that was born on an island in the heavens. With the blood of his ancestors flowing inside him. Yeah, Sega Illusion, there you have it. Good shit. That was very good. Alright, so now that we unlock those two tracks, I mean, I don't know what we can do with those two tracks, but <laughs> they are there, basically. 
But yeah, uh, I guess I could go for mission mode right, right now, right? What do you think, Bravi? What's the best thing to do? Should I go mission mode or should I go somewhere else? I think mission mode will be the, the appropriate thing to do, right? Maybe. Probably. All golds? What you mean by all golds? All golds in what? Oh, you mean the missions? I mean, maybe. My name's Storm, Storm of the Albatros. Know that the Ed's World Grand Prix is over, I can wrap up our gangs and finish business. It's gone, where the heck did it go? If I can't find that treasure, the boss is gonna get super angry. I'm Sonic, damn, I can't believe this guy should turn into Sonic. Now that the S4 Grand Prix is over, I wonder what we'll do next, huh? What do we have here? Um, damn, alright, so I guess we're helping these guys. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could try getting gold rank in all missions. I mean, that's what I did when I was a kid, so I can't do it now. I could try at least. I could see. Uh, so we have three missions. Oh, three missions in the first one. Draw attention by doing cool tricks. Perform tricks to get 12 or more points before Storm appears. And I have a limit. Oh, and I'm Amy? Alright. Oh, and I get to start however I want. They want me to do tricks. Say no more. Say no more. I can do that. Wait, what? Why didn't you shun there? Are you supposed to shun there? Right. I wonder how many. I'm assuming 30 is for the gold medal, right? Ah, uh, I fucked that up. Somehow I didn't fuck that up. Oh, you only have one lap. I thought there was only... Like, a time limit. I didn't think... Oh, I press yes. Come on. That's because I moved the analog. The analog, for some reason, gets pretty, pretty crazy. They call before the storm. Get it? <laughs> Alright. So. The first one was an Eds. Problem is that. Was only the first one. I don't know why I couldn't jump here. Didn't I jump at the right time? Maybe not. I need 30. Problem is that if I want 30, I need to get an Ed somehow in here. Let's see. Mm, but I can do. Oh, I should have gone up. If you go up, you can actually do another shump. That's what I should have done. Okay, this is easy. Well, I mean, this one. In particular, is this? Also, can you remember how you unlock the the Chaos Emerald board? Because I remember there being a Chaos Emerald board, but I don't remember how to get it. If you could remind me, I'm assuming it has to do with getting all the missions on gold or some shit like that, right? Get all goals, yeah. I'm, I, I assume that it was something like that. So I remember <laughs> taking some time to do that. 
Uh, you can. Fuck. I got too greedy. You don't even need to get that greedy because with two tricks you get to the points very easily. You know. But yeah. And then what else is there? Don't do the one spin too many. Yeah, I'm aware. Just that sometimes you think that you can do them, but you actually can. It depends on the champ, obviously. But yeah. But yeah. Um, I was gonna ask you, other than the missions, is there something else to do? I mean, well, other than buying all the shit. Oh, I fucked up. I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm an idiot. Uh, it, like, other than buying all the shit from the shop by farming rings, is there something else to do? Or what? How, how does it work? Because I think that that's the only thing, right? Isn't it? Alright, sometimes she doesn't feel like doing that jump, I guess. Sometimes she's like, nah, you know what? I'm not jumping for shit. Also, that's not gonna be enough. Damn, I'm shoving like an idiot. I don't think so, but mission mode is already a big thing in itself. Yeah, I can imagine that being the case. I mean, I'm already struggling with this one, even though this one is actually easy, you know? That's the saddest part. This one is actually easy and I'm struggling. I don't know why sometimes here you get to jump and sometimes you don't. I guess you really need to be on the very edge, probably. All right. So in this one, hold down yeah, like that. There you go. Perfect. That's how you do it. it it's not even that hard. But for some reason, I kept being a shover there. No, I don't want to retry things. Can be an issue with all shadowing. Maybe. Collect the shank scatter around the city. What, you think I'm a shanitor now? Fuck you. What do you mean collect the shank? Wants me to do it for free. Tails definitely look like the kind of guy that could be a Shanitor. The problem here is finding all of this shit. That's gonna be a real thing. Oh! Alright, it's okay. I'm assuming that I need to fly here, yeah, obviously. Oh, which side? Okay, right side. And now, what here? I'm assuming flying as well. Yeah. Got him. Uh-oh. Oof, that was close. I'm assuming the last ones are on the top. Well, I hope they are on the top. Yeah, it was on the top. Nice. Got him. Chunk that can be used to repair boards like Leshen. Oh, nice. So I guess it's not... I guess it's not... I don't do it for free after all. Good shit. Got him. Uh, cause traffic shams to stop the guys tailing you? What do you mean, cause traffic shams? There are many overturned cars on the track reach the goal. What? I don't think I understood. Uh, you want me to go fast? Is that all? 
Oh, what the hell? Wait, so... Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Like, is it just that there are more cars and you need to avoid them? It's like, it's like a time trial. Because if it is a time trial... Uh, I fucked up, clearly. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was a time trial, in which case... I messed it up. I could have done way better than that. There is a view treasure thing in the menu. I see. Oh, I got gold regardless. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll take it. I guess I didn't need to do it... Uh, to do it that hardly. Damn. Two more, huh? The city exit is about to close. Get through it. The roads close, destroy nine or more cars to escape the trap. Okay, well now we need to... At least the the, um, the objective here is straightforward. All right. We won nine cars. The problem is that all these cars... So they don't spawn like they do normally. They are random. Well, not not random. I mean that they are, they have a, a, a determined a range. Which side? Right side? Okay, fuck. Oh wait, these cars don't count? Why not? Are you being a bigot against cars? Wait, so those cars don't count? Oh, and I was supposed to go through the shortcut. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to go there. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Yeah, there's Troy, I know. Wait, they do count? So why was the counter not, uh, not updating? If they count. Point, point. Because, you know, the counter always updates here. But they didn't update back then for some reason. You saw the number go up way really. Oh, okay, I see it now. I don't know why I wasn't seeing it before. Oh, that's a very nice way of dodging all the fucking cars. Oh, come on! If I had gotten that, I would have gotten it. It's okay, it's easy at least. But yeah. Yeah, Knuckles, here he comes. Rougher than the rest of them. He's hard as nails, it ain't hard to tell. This feels photo gamey. You mean like those photo games where you're supposed to spot the differences? Or you mean like those games like Pokemon Snap? Oh, that's... I might keep missing like a fucking idiot. Oh, that, that's very good. There you have it. Because I remember there was a game on PlayStation 1 that I remember playing. That was pretty much a, a spot the difference, but it was a rail one. Oh, the Toho one, so I see. Yeah, I mean, they are very specific missions that require you to pretty much do the same thing that you already did before, but with a, with a twist, you know. But yeah, I guess that it's similar in that regard. So you, that view treasure. Chunks. I see. Well, I can't do anything with them yet. That's gonna be fine. A red car has the treasure, go get it. Get the treasure by chasing down the red car before Storm appears. Damn, we're really cucking Storm very badly right now. Alright, so I just need to get the red car, huh? But it's not that far. 
on. Get his ass. Boom. Why did I win? Oh, but I need to finish the the track. Okay, sure, why not? Let me get the shortcut. Might as well. Okay, try not to run out of fuel in the process if it's possible. So that should be enough for the gold, I'm assuming. Nice, it is. Good shit. You prefer the air? Well, I prefer punching shit. <laughs> Apparently with that I got that. But I can't, I, I, since I don't have the repair manual, I can't have that. Alright. So that was Metal City. There are still the, the other ones. Um, draw attention by doing cool tricks. Oh wait, are these all the same? Yeah, these are all the same. I mean, well, they are the same missions, but in different, uh, different tracks. Okay, well, I can do that. I mean, it gives it a twist. You also seem to do it with the same character, too. It seems. Yeah, I can do that. I don't mind. That was a cool trick. All things considered. I guess if I hadn't jumped that high, I could have done a bigger trick. Yeah, aim me with pants. That's the... The important one is Amy Pants version. Uh, fuck you. How did that not work? I want the bar. I want the referee right now. So I just got scammed. Well, the problem is that that's not gonna be enough to get shit. I'm even getting an. Wait. Are you telling me that that's actually enough, or is that no? That, that's silver, right? Is it actually enough? Damn! It was actually enough. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I, I won't say no to that. That's for sure. All right. Yeah, I I definitely won't say no to that. So. I need to collect uh, the pieces. Wait, you want me to collect the pieces with Sonic? And not with uh, Tails? Okay. You want me to ride this thing? Obviously. You want me to go up? Yes, sir. Got it. wonder how many there are. I don't know. Assuming you also want me to get to this one, yeah. Hold on. Nice. I'm assuming that you also want me to go to the rainbow by the end, probably. I mean, just in case I'm going for the rainbow here. Yeah, of course. Of course you want me to go for the rainbow. Nice. Got him. Good shit. Yeah, there you have it. Nice. Um, I, I like first trying shit. I gotta, I gotta say. It always feels nice. All right. Um, I still don't understand this block the track. Like this is just doing the track fast. It's not about blocking the track. It's just a way. It's just about being fast, right? And also getting... Wait, isn't getting Knuckles just doing this in easy mode? Or do I actually need to knock this shit from the truck? Because I'm pretty sure that the score that I get is actually time-based. You know? Like, I don't think it's really related with anything other than time. 
that's the case, I'm just gonna go fast. As always, obviously. I don't know if it's faster here to go to the to the rainbow. I'm not sure. Yeah, I got it barely before the 10 seconds. I think that you need to do that before 50 seconds to get the goal, right? So I got super lucky there. <laughs> I barely got it. Barely. Alright. Wait, don't, don't go there. Wait, I want to see though... Okay, so now you just get the, the first uh, versions of the track. You don't get literally all of them at least. Alright. This one is also about going fast. Oh, never mind. This one is actually using the the flying rings. Well, this is a new one, actually. I remember when I was a kid, these ones I found them super hard. The ones that you were supposed to get all of the flying rings, and I don't know why, because, I mean... I guess it's because the controls are not that easy, maybe. I mean, it's not like they are super hard or anything like that. Yeah, but I remember struggling a lot when I was a kid into keeping... Wait, I can go back, can I? I mean, as long as I do it in that time that it says. Ah, uh, come on, fuck you. Just as I say that I fuck up. Unbelievable. I guess, <laughs> I guess much didn't change from when I was a kid, you know? I guess it didn't. Alright, but there is quite a, a wide gap between bow rings, you know? Something kinda tells me that... Oh no, never mind, you can get it. You don't need to land before that. Did I get... I think I got them all, yeah. Doesn't seem to be any other one. Alright, well, I'll take that then. I also like how he's just holding a plug casually. I didn't get the rainbow. Got him. I wonder what the last mission is about. In here. Probably it's just gonna be fast, right? I think that the last missions are about being fast. Yeah. The treasure. Oh, never mind. Wait, what does this have to do with treasure? This is doing grinds. This has nothing to do with running for the treasure. This is about being Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk the Hedgehog. <laughs> I wonder what's Tony Hawk's for Sona. I wonder. I can't believe I should say that. Oh wait, that's actually a super easy question to to answer. Of course it will be shed. I mean he's a hawk and he uses boards. Of course, I'm stupid. In fact I wouldn't be surprised if the reason why Shed the Hawk exists is because of Tony Hawk. I mean after all Keep in mind that this game came out in the in 2006. I'm pretty sure that Tony Hawk was very popular at that point. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was more popular on the early 2000s, but he was still very popular there. So yeah. Now that I think about it, it makes sense for Shed to be a direct inspiration on Tony Hawk. Fuck me, Th those rails are hard to grind. They are all super close to each other. It's actually not easy. But I can do it. I can definitely do it. No. 
The problem is the fucking camera. Like, the camera follows you in a very awkward way. So a lot of times when there is a, another rail, it's very hard to to time the shum, you know. Yeah, that one. I'm doing it way too soon. The problem is that I see the red light and I'm like, I need to shun, but the red light is not as close as it looks like it is. That's the issue. The last one? Yeah, that is the last one. Nice. Got him. Also, hey Clonka, how is it going? I'm here doing some missions. Some missions for the you know for Sonic Riders. You know? It's pretty crazy to think though that a lot of things that were quite hard back then are actually not that hard uh, now i gotta say i guess i could do one more i mean after all today is friday so yeah might as well do one more let's do one more i mean one more track uh okay so i need to do tricks but yeah it's pretty it's pretty much very nice to be that's a nice st start. No, I was out to say that it's pretty nice to be reunited with my... Well, pretty much to be reunited with my childhood. Here. It's the, the way it is. I mean, it's just like with Sonic Heroes, pretty much. Sonic Heroes and this game are huge with how much I play them. I just play them a lot. Which side should I go? I'm assuming, yeah, this one, of course. Oh, and I got gold already, nice. Good shit. That reminds me that I could pretty much, you know how, well, you probably know that Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi are pretty much my favorite games, right? And you know that the PS2 emulation is garbage, but those games, I'm pretty sure that they are available for this system as well. So I think that... It will actually be a good idea, like, if I, wh whenever I play, because I'm definitely gonna play it at some point, but whenever I play Budokai Tenkaichi on stream, I should play the GameCube version for sure. That way I don't have to deal with the awful PS2 emulator. Emulation. Because it's insane, I mean, look, dude. Just look how well this game looks and plays. It's just insane. Like, I'm pretty sure that if I try the PS2 version, it wouldn't look this good. Or even play this good. Like, I, I will have to be thankful if it even can play like this, you know? Can be as smooth. Oh, fuck me in the ass. No, you get your ass back there. Oh, you can't because of the booster. That's fucked up. But yeah. 
It's just insane, dude. God bless the dolphin emulator. I missed that one again. Yeah, the dolphin emulator is just something else. It's built different. The first Tenkaichi was PS2 only. Well, the good thing is that the first Tenkaichi is pretty much the game that I really don't feel like playing, you know. Because the first Tenkaichi didn't, well, other than being the first in the in the series, it didn't really have anything that Tenkaichi 2 didn't have, you know. As in, like, there is no reason to play Tenkaichi 1 if you're gonna play Tenkaichi 2. Unless you never played it before and you want to see how it is, obviously. But having played that game, I don't think there is any reason to play it other than, I don't know, wanting to do something particular with it. Because at least from Tenkaichi 2 to Tenkaichi 3 there is a difference, which is the story mode. In Tenkaichi 2 the story mode is so much better than in Tenkaichi 3. So playing Tenkaichi 2 actually has something to offer, and in fact it's the game that I want to play. Like I don't really feel like playing Tenkaichi 3 that much, specifically because I don't think it's that interesting to stream. But Tenkaichi 2 story mode is so cool and it's also challenging. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that I will play Tenkaichi 2 and maybe 3. Problem is that I don't know what moves were in Tenkaichi 3 that are not in Tenkaichi 2 because the issue is that my muscle memory for the Tenkaichi games is hardwired to to Tenkaichi uh, 3 so if I play Tenkaichi 2 I have a feeling that I'm gonna be so lost like I have a feeling that there are so many things that I'm gonna try to do and I'm gonna fail horribly at them but you never know, maybe I, I won't. But I do remember that there were obviously some things that Tenkaichi 3 introduced that are obviously not in Tenkaichi 2. Just hope that there aren't that many of them. Because if they are a lot, it, it's gonna be a problem. Oh, that was interesting. Didn't mean to do that, but... Yeah. I don't know. The only way to know that is by by playing the game, basically. There is no other way to do it. Need to play that game and see what I cannot do. Damn, I got bronze? Are you shitting me? Did I really... <laughs> Holy fuck, did I do that badly? Damn, alright. Why you want me to do this faster though? I mean, I understand that in one of those places I slow down a lot, but holy fuck. Maybe I shouldn't take this rail. I feel like this one is ultimately slower. Uh, walking is also slower, you know. Right, at least I got the unbelievable there. Oh, wait a second, I'm a moron. I for... Well, it's not like I forgot. It's just that there is a super shortcut in this track. But my problem is that I went... Uh, since I went for the rails, I didn't even get the, the shortcut, which is this one. I did lose a little bit of time there, though. I don't know if it's gonna be enough for the goal. I don't even know how much the goal is. I'm assuming it's before 15 seconds, in which case I did fuck it up. Oh, never mind, I got it. Well, nice. <laughs> the guy T2 was for the Wii, which shouldn't matter since Dolphin also runs that. Oh, I see, it wasn't the GameCube. Yeah, but the Wii should be fine too. That's the good thing. This simulator, dude. Like, it feels so nice to finally use an emulator that actually works. 
Like, it just feels so nice. It really is a shame, though, that games like Gran Turismo 2 are completely... Well, sorry, not Gran Turismo 2. Uh, Gran Turismo 3 and 4 are completely stuck on... Uh, on the PS2, so you need to emulate PS2 because they are exclusives. That's an absolute shame, but it is the way it is. Nothing you can do about it. Get fucked, basically. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on! I mean, I could go back, but there is no way that I'm gonna make it in time. What do you think? But yeah. Unfortunately, it's the way it is. It's just the way it is. There's nothing you can do. This is nice that uh, there was an alternative to the PlayStation 2. You know, I gotta say that a lot of these games, uh, this one in particular, but also a lot of the ones that I that I played, like, they feel super nostalgic, but not because of the game itself, you know. Oh, I miss them. I think I miss the the robots that were hungry, probably, or something like that. Maybe I was supposed to hit those. Uh, but I was about to say, yeah, these games. Um, like I remember the games because I remember like situations or kind of like I remember my my child mind, you know? Like when you're a kid, a lot of things feel so big, right? Like you have so much to to discover, you know? Like you have a completely... Like you have a whole world to discover. And you don't know it. You don't know the world very well, so a lot of times your mind uh, fills the blanks. And fills the blanks uh, with a lot of stuff that it's obviously a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more exciting than it really is. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong here, but I don't know what. Those robots don't count. Like, is there a place I'm not going? But where? I supposed to go to the, to the shortcut? Any tips, Bravi, for this one? Maybe go down here. No, but down here there is not even a robot. Oh, wait a second. Maybe it's... No, no. No, I was about to say something stupid. There's also nothing down there. What am I missing? Maybe I'm supposed to take the shortcut? I mean, the last shortcut. Yeah, I know that I missed some robots, but I just want to see. Like, maybe... Okay, instead of going to the right, I go to the left. Here. But this does I mean, this just ends the the level faster. So no, that's not the case. Yeah, I'm missing something, but I can't tell what. Huh? Oh, well, that's weird. Am I re like? What am I missing? I mean, I, I don't get it. And the worst part is that I'm missing a lot of robots. And the purple ones that get hanged there don't even count, so 
I'm not exactly sure what I'm missing here. So I don't know. I am a little bit confused. I mean, there is a robot up there. I, well, I, it's probably one of the ones that I need. Maybe there is a shortcut here that I'm not seeing. Let's see. No, I, I don't see any shortcut. So what's the trick here? Like, I'm pretty sure there are like 15 or something robots, right? Right? Because those 12 robots that it says there, I'm pretty sure that's the silver. I have no idea how to get the gold. That's weird. Maybe there is a secret path that I have. Oh, come on, you circle shit. Okay, like maybe there is a secret path and I'm not aware of its of its existence, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. So how could it be that I'm missing so much? I'm in danger. Not anymore. Oh, now I am again. Right, that like that's the last one. That's the, the very last one of the robots. I think that I am missing a shortcut, actually. Like, I think there might be a wall that I'm... that is, like, in that section. It has to be. Yeah, I think I'm missing a wall. It's weird because I don't see any power sign. Unless there is a power sign and I'm fucking blind, which is possible. But I don't think so. Okay, what's going on here? But let, let's see. If the place that I think it is exists, it should be... Yeah, this one! There is... This wall is fake. Uh, that's so fucked up. Do I have 15 or did I miss one at the beginning? No, I got them all. Damn, that's fucked up. There is not even a sign telling you that there is a wall there. Like, I kinda remember that there was something there. But then the only suggestion you have is a... Like, it's a sign that is... Turn... Well, turn. That it's... Uh, um... Rook, right? That's fucked up, dude. Can I do any treasure here? No. Apparently not. Not yet, at least. Alright. You really cannot use the analog in the menus. It goes all crazy and shit. It was kind of bullshit. It was quite bullshit, yeah. Oh, this is a time trial. I can do that. Well, I can use that shortcut now, I guess. Also, did you play this game, Clone Cat, when you were younger? Yes, I, yes. You say that you play Sonic Heroes, but did you play this one? This was another one of the big PS2 releases, pretty much. Oh, that's not the way. Like, I will say that when it comes to PS2 games, Sonic Riders, uh, well, this game and Shadow the Hedgehog are the big, the big ones. Well, I mean, there are a lot of things that you can say about Shadow the Hedgehog, but it, it was a pretty big game back then. Not like it was the best, but it, it was still... It, it was what it was, basically. For lack of better description. 
Oh, here it says power. Oh, but it's already open. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty easy if it's already fucking open, you know? Sadly, uh, I have no fuel, but it's okay. Knuckles can do it even without fuel. He's a fast runner after all. You don't have to worry about that. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for the goal, though. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, Alright, I'll take it. Only Sonics I have ever played were both adventure games and heroes. Oh, I see. Well, you pretty much play Sonic Adventure 1, 2, and 3. Because Sonic Heroes might as well be Sonic Adventure 3 at the end of the day. Good shit. Alright, uh, I think that that's gonna be it for me for the day. Uh, I definitely want to do every single mission. So that's what I'm gonna do on the next stream. Try to keep going with the missions. There are a lot of missions and I'm pretty sure that after that one, there is gonna be one that says Shed's mission. So I don't know how to unlock it though, but I'm assuming that it's by doing the, the, the other missions probably. Um, so the question is how this saves. Well, I know that it does save if you go to to the options. Then you go to, I don't know, audio setting. You don't touch anything and you go back, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it saves just like that. It's a cool trick. But yeah. The bullshit missions. Well, for now... For now, the missions that I did are pretty fair, but they are only the first one, so... Uh, it can get bullshit at any time, that's for sure. Like, it can get bullshit uh, at any single time. But yeah, that's something that we're gonna... You're, we're gonna see on the, on the next stream. So, uh, for now, uh, thanks everyone a lot for watching. And I'm gonna be seeing you on the next stream with more of this game. And, uh, well, I guess in the meantime, since there is raid in this thing, might as well uh, use the, f the raid functionality, you know? Because, you know, it's always nice. Wait, did I cancel it? Wait, how did I cancel it? Fuck you! Damn it! Fucking, I, I don't know how I cancel it, <laughs> but whatever, it's okay. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you on the next stream, so have a good one everyone, and uh, take care.